Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Living Life Barefoot. This morning was harvest day. As you can see here, I have some half harvested trays. I'm going to tell you the number one mistake that I did right before harvest day. As you can see here, I have half harvested trays. Not really, a little less than half. And one thing I think you can notice is the center of my microgreen trays are what's left. I didn't harvest them this morning. Check out this video and I will tell you exactly what happened and how I am going to fix the issue. All right guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanna share that I dropped my Tiny Greens, Big Dreams, microgreen course book. So if you're interested in starting your own microgreen business so that you can grow these tiny little greens for your community, for restaurants, coffee shops, health food stores, farmers markets, and more, please go check out my course book at barefootmicrogreens.com. All right, guys, this morning was harvest day for me, like I said, in my microgreens business. And let's just go ahead and get into it. As you can see here, I have trays that I harvested this morning, but I have microgreens left in the center of each tray. So what happened? Well, I like to stop watering my microgreen trays about 24 hours before I harvest my microgreens, which I did do that. But I also turn on an oscillating fan directly on my microgreens. Uh, that just prevents any wet foliage that you might have when it comes time to harvesting. So I forgot to turn on my oscillating fan. I did have my ceiling fan on, but it wasn't enough. Um, so that is the big mistake that I did last night before harvesting was I forgot to turn on my oscillating fan. So that caused me to have really wet microgreens in the center of each tray. You can see here, they all turned out the same. Um, so, what I did was go ahead and harvest around the edges of my trays. As you can see here, I went ahead and packaged them up, measured them out, put them into my containers, and threw them in their fridge. So, what I did with these trays was actually take them back to my grow room and turn the fan on them so they would dry out in the centers. Now, this didn't take very long because there's not a lot of microgreens that were left, but this is not something that you want to run into on harvest day. You want your harvest day to be very streamlined and um, quick, efficient, and this didn't make it very efficient this morning. So I did get my orders. Luckily, the orders filled, and all this is actually extra that I'm going to use um, to sell to my local community. So it's probably been, they've probably been in the fan for about two hours now. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest what's left and then get them packaged up and put in containers as well and then go ahead and post them for sale um, on my social media websites. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to use our Barefoot Microgreen Harvest Knives. And they are extremely sharp. I just cut myself two days ago when I was harvesting. So if you purchase one of our knives, just know that they're extremely good, extremely sharp, and be very, very careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna harvest the rest of these really quickly. And yep, they're perfectly dry. So we're good to go. Still a little wet right there, so I'm not gonna go ahead I'm just gonna leave these little stragglers here. They're a little wet, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And this was with both of the varieties that I had this morning. So this is the basic salad mix, and it also happened in my broccoli trays as well. So these were the two varieties um, that I grew for this week's orders. And these were the trays that were still wet in the center. I have several trays that I was able to harvest um, the entire tray, so those were good. 
but there was just these ones. So that leads me to believe that maybe, um, I'm trying to think now, if these ones were more on the bottom racks and the top racks did really well with the oscillating fan. Now I can't remember, but I'm guessing that that was probably the case. So this is what I have left there. And these are going to be dumped and either put in a compost pile or we're going to um, throw them out to our livestock. That's actually going to be the boys job this week. Okay, and now I have the broccoli trays. I'm going to go ahead and just move this down. And you can always, like right before you harvest, you can kind of always take a peek and fill in the center of your trays. That way you know if there's any wetness in there. And I'm going to go clean off my knife. Okay. Broccoli feels pretty good as well. I don't have much here. I did have my dehumidifier running in my grow room. It did seem a little hot in there, so that might have been part of the moisture too. So maybe I need to check on my dehumidifier, make sure the setting's right, and make sure it may be time to maintenance it and clean it out as well. So, as you can see, I didn't have too much here of each of these varieties. But if I would have turned on my fan last night or yesterday after my last watering probably is what I should have done yesterday morning, these would have been already taken care of and done and packaged and put away and I would have probably already had them sold. <laughs> the other thing that I could have done this morning and I just wasn't feeling it <laughs> was using a fan or drying rack for my microgreens. So I really use this in emergency cases. Um, so let's say that I really needed to fill my orders with these microgreens that I had left. I probably would have gone ahead and put them in my drying rack and let the fan dry them out for a couple minutes. Uh, but since I had enough to fill all my orders and this was actually extra for me, uh, I just went ahead and put the trays, like I said, back in my grow room and turned the fan on them. Let the fan dry them out while they were still uh, planted in the trays. If you're interested in learning more about this drying rack system that I have, um, I will share the video here so you can go check that out. My husband actually built this for me here on my workstation uh, for emergency issues like wet microgreens. Um, it's a wonderful drying rack system. It's so easy, easy to build. Like I said, I will uh, link that video so you can go check that out after watching this video. trays that I had center the center still left I got four wonderful containers of microgreens so the micro broccoli and the salad mix thanks for watching today guys 
Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and please like and share our videos. Catch you on the next video.